This is our full guide on making a Minecraft server. First things first, you're going to need to download the Minecraft server files, and you can find all the things we've talked about in this video linked in the description down below. Starting off, this is where you'll go when you want to download the Minecraft server files. This is our text guide on getting those files. Click Download Minecraft here. Go to the official download page. On this page, go on this Minecraft underscore server. Here, the actual version number may be different if it's a newer version in the future. And when you click on that, you will get this prompt to download the server.jar. Go ahead and click save, and the download will begin. Now, while that's downloading, I do want to mention that the server we're starting here is not 24 hours. It's only up and running when your computer is. And that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, can come in to help because it allows you to start a 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server where you don't have to port forward. And you get your server set up in just a few minutes, way quicker than what we're going to be setting up on our own computer in this video. Plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out and one click installation of hundreds of mod packs. So if you want to start a modded server, play Minecraft mods with your friends, it's super easy to do that at Simple Game Hosting in addition to hosting vanilla Minecraft servers. So don't struggle to host a Minecraft server, start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below at the breakdown.xyz slash simple. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and what we'll want to do is create a new folder on our desktop. Now you can name this anything, but we're just going to name this Minecraft server because, well, this is our Minecraft server. And then we want to go find the server jar we downloaded. Now for me, that's going to be in my downloads folder here. And we can drag and drop this from our downloads folder into this Minecraft server folder we created. Open up the Minecraft server folder, and in here you want to double click the server.jar. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you don't have Java. And if you don't have Java, you can find it linked in the description down below with an in-depth guide on how to get it. It covers everything. We also have the jar fix link down below, which will link that server.jar to Java once you've got it. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and we have all of these files and folders. We want to go ahead and open up that eula.txt file here, and assuming we agree to the Minecraft eula, which we do, we can change eula equals false to eula equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Go ahead and click File, Save, and it will save the eula.txt file, and we can close out of it. Now, when we double-click the server.jar, it's going to start. However, your friends can't join the server right now, but I would recommend you trying to join this server, making sure it's all good, there's no lag, anything like that, and if you're all good there, we can go over allowing your friends to join. So for you to join this server, you'll want to go to a Minecraft and then add a server. Then we can name this server address localhost because that's what the IP to join this server for you is going to be. Your friends won't join using that, but you will, and so I want to go ahead and make sure you know how to do that, and we can join right now to test stuff. You'll see us join in here on the left-hand side. You can see players as well as that we've joined the game. Run around, make sure there's no lag, things are good to go, and if it is, we can go ahead and move on to port forwarding and allowing your friends to actually join this server. To do that, we'll want to go ahead and close out of Minecraft. Now, I do want to mention you can do things now in your server to kind of get things ahead when your friends do join. For example, you might want to op yourself. So you can come over here and type op and then your username in this text box and then hit enter. This is where you're going to be able to, well, make yourself a server operator and do things like slash game mode creative in game. You can also stop the server by coming over here into the same area and typing stop and hitting enter. Now, we can also open our server folder and change our server settings by opening up the server.properties here. You can open and edit these in Notepad, but you can see you can change everything from your server's difficulty to its default game mode, and tons of other stuff can be changed. Even the max players can be set to 2000, for example. You want to make sure you save any changes in there, and now when the server starts, those will be reflected. But before we start the server, how do we let your friends join it? Well, go ahead and open up the start menu and type in CMD. You have the command prompt here. Open this up, and then in the command prompt, go ahead and type IPCONFIG, IPConfig, exactly like that, and hit enter. Then in this command prompt, we're going to have a few numbers. Specifically, we're looking for our IPv4 address and default gateway. I'm going to go ahead and write down both of those in Notepad. So our IPv4 is going to be 192.168.1.84. Yours is probably completely different, by the way, and that's why we have done this how we've done it, so you can get these numbers. Now we want to take the default gateway whenever we have written that down here and we're going to copy it. The reason is because we're going to go to our browser and then in a brand new tab we want to paste our default gateway. 
then hit enter. It's gonna open up some sort of a login box like this, and this is where you're gonna log into your router. Now this is different from your username and password you use, for example, to log into your Wi-Fi connection. This is the router itself, and usually it's on the router. You're gonna be able to look on the physical device, but if you can't find it there, there is a link in the description of different methods to use to find your router's password. It starts with method one, goes through method five, and usually by method one or two, you have figured out your login which I'm gonna go ahead and log into my router now. Once you log into the router, you're looking for something called port forwarding or single port forwarding. This is usually gonna be in an advanced, a security, or an administration or network tab. It could also be called apps and gaming. For me, it is in advanced, advanced again, and then port forwarding slash port triggering. I'll then wanna add a custom service or add a new port forward. And then for the name, we wanna go ahead and make it Minecraft. This may also be called an ID for you. And for the protocol, we wanna select TCP slash UDP or both. Either way, you just wanna make sure both of these here are selected. For anything involving the word ports, P-O-R-T, type in 25565, exactly like that, 25565. And then that's external port, port mentioned again here, 25565. For our internal or local IP address, this is going to be that IPv4 address we found earlier. So in my case, 192.168.1.84. Then we can go ahead and click apply here. And by the way, you may not have the internal IP address. Instead, you may select the device you're making the server on. So you would select your computer. Now at this point, your friends can actually join your server. They just need to use the right server address or IP address to join it. And that's gonna be your public IP. So linked in the description down below is this. What's my IP? This just takes your IP and gives it back to you and you can click to copy it. Now all you can see is 1.8 because you don't wanna give this out to everyone. That's why services like Simple Game Hosting are more secure because you're not giving your IP address out to everyone. But we can go ahead and click to copy this. You can also see the information someone can get from your IP address. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we can start our server back up by double clicking that server.jar. We can also open up Minecraft and join the server. And by the way, your friends, once this server is online, can also join your server. So as soon as you see done here, your friends can now join using that public IP address. I'll show you that I can also join using my public IP and we're good to go. Now joining the server with the public IP is just like joining with any other IP. However, I do want to mention that you may not be able to join using your public IP and you may have to use that local connection we were talking about. And that's because you're connecting back to yourself when you're using your public IP. Some internet service providers don't like that, so don't worry if you have to use that local host as long as your friends can join using your public IP. But as you can tell, this is the same server we were just on. You now know how to make a Minecraft server and start playing on it with your friends. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But we hope you enjoyed this full guide on making a Minecraft server from start to finish. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.